great western trail appropriate for trail riding. The American West was founded on dreams and the pioneer spirit. Go West, young man! Was the battle cry of thousands of individuals looking for adventure and a fresh start. In time, the way West had been crisscrossed by dozens of trails and passages to reach the Pacific coast. In time, those trails would become a means for commerce as well as leisure travel and the means of transportation would be as varied as the people that use the trails drop the same spirit lives on today in the American West. The GWT isn't a route for a modern day cattle drive, the Great Western Trail is an idea in the making for a multi-purpose out of our vehicle trail that runs from Canada to Mexico. The trail won't just be for ATV and dirt bikes, the goal is to make the GWT available to hikers, horseback riders, skiers, snowmobilers and many other outdoor enthusiasts. Stop putting together a trail of this magnitude is going to take a lot of work and forethought. You can imagine all the precautions and planning that needs to be in a place for these motorized and non-motorized trails to work together. Overall the trail will most likely be a collection of trails running parallel to one another. Like the eastern and western railroads of the Old West, the goal is to have both the northern and southern sections of the trail meet in the middle, completing away from Canada to Mexico. Portions of the route are already created and when the whole trail is finished it will cover a total of 4,455 miles through Arizona, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. Much of this route is mapped out over some of the most beautiful scenery the United States has to offer. The landscape of the American West is gorgeous enough from a car or the back of a motorcycle, but riding through miles of Arizona desert or the stunning Utah formations on an ATV can be downright spectacular. The builders of the GWT hope to utilize trails and roads already existing along the route.